Alrighty, what's up YouTube? Pocket JDM Customs here with another video. Uh, this one here is uh, the follow-up to taking apart the car. Again, I'm still using the Porsche. I do have another video up with a Civic EF with some really cool wheels that I'm also going to put up. But I did that a little prematurely before doing all of the other videos that I did, which was remove the car out of the card. Uh, without damaging it, you know, keeping it uh, intact, uh, and then removing the base of the car. And then now, I want to show you guys a little bit. Oh, can you see? Hold on, move that there. Okay. What I want to show you guys now is a little bit of the uh, wheel swapping and move that. That's better. And axle changes. Okay, because there's going to be times, guys, when, you know, you see, I'm gonna, and by the way, I'm using these as an example. So there's going to be times when, you know, you see a, a Hot Wheels premium car that has some really cool wheels, you know, rubber tires, uh, real riders, you know, etc. Um, and you want to put them on, you know, something that you may like uh, that you have in your collection. In this case, we're going to just, again, use the Porsche as a dummy car. But, in this case, let's see, hold on, let me pop off the, all the wheels. Now, in this case, I, the reason why I'm using these wheels as an example is look at the axle, how long it is, you know, it's really long, okay? So, we want to, you know, get them up to size for this particular car. So what we're going to do, we're going to use our wire cutter, and you're going to take the, oh, take the axle, like that, wherever you want to cut it. I like to cover it because they will fly, guys, they will fly. Okay. So now we have removed the old axle and now we have our tires here okay my thumbs are fucking horrendous i'm sorry guys all right so all right so there we go all right boom now we're gonna do the same thing with the other axle again cover guys and you will feel a snap in your hand. Okay. So those axles are gone. And we have our wheels. Okay. So now what you're going to want to do. And I'm going to leave a description in. Or leave the information in the description below. Of what I am using. You know like these wire cutters. These are my crimpers. Which we're about to get into right now. And these are the old axles. So. These are brass rods. These are what I'm using as replacement axles, okay? And we can cut them to the size that we need. But what we want to do here, all right, this is what we're going to do. They fit great. These are 132, 132nd, 132, 32nd. This guy's an idiot. 132, or in other words, 81 point excuse me point 81 millimeter uh, These things are pretty cool. They're not as strong as these for sure no, but they're the same diameter and They're pretty they're pretty they're doable without a doubt and for you guys that are You know lowering cambering and so forth. They are definitely bendable You know so, step number one is you're going to need the crimper. Okay, why? Because if you don't crimp, let me just give you guys an understandable. If you don't crimp the end, and that would actually fall on the floor, the tires will fly away like this one literally just did. So, that is the reason why we're going to crimp one end first. So, I like to use, let's see if we can get it here. There we go. Okay. I use this one here. I don't put it to. And crimp. Okay. Now, can you see? There we go. That's pretty good. 
All right, so that's the crimp, and that's gonna hold it in place. So let's give it a shot. Sorry guys, there's shavings from the removal. And it didn't help us see what I'm doing. There we go. All right. Mm-hmm. You see? Crimped. Beautiful. Now what you want to do is you don't want to, you know, you just want to get the tip. You know, as you can see, you can see what it does right there. It, it put it against the black. It flattens it. Mm-hmm. So basically, but look, it's still going to spin nice. Okay, step number two. Once you have the first end crimped and the first wheel on, you grab your base. Um, in this case, we'll do the rear. You're going to take this, you know, slide it through. Go ahead and pull on that. Okay, then you're gonna take the other wheel. And you wanna go ahead and, and put it on. There you go. I mean, that's pretty much the size right there, you see? So now, what you do with it in there, you're gonna get your cutter, and you can get in there pretty close. You don't wanna scuff up the wheel. Hold it, because it does fly too. And okay, you see? Got just enough there too, to where I can maybe clean that up a little bit, and then I will crimp. So now, once you've got it sized up, go ahead and pull the wheel off. Pull this one down. Now, if you want, you will go ahead. If you want, you can, I don't recommend, well, it, it's up to you guys. You can, uh, you know, take a little extra off, because again, you can't really get all the way in there too much. You don't want to scuff up the, especially if the deep dish, you don't want to scuff anything up or scrape the uh, the the uh, rim with the, the tweezer. So, um, so okay, so what you're going to do, you can either cut it a little more. In this case, I'm not, because if I need to, I'll just redo it. And then we're going to go ahead and take the crimper. After we went ahead and slid, now remember guys, crimped on one end, you slide on the other one. And then you will go ahead, put this in the video, crimp it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that was a terrible example, guys. Let's try that again. trying to see in the video so you guys can see it but I'm not sure if I get it okay so there we go we've got them now you see how much shorter they are and they're gonna oh, we did the rear right yeah we did the rear and look it's gonna just fall right into place like that now you don't want to go ahead and push them in too too much like I said they're, they're not super flimsy but you know just you don't want to damage them up so boom in there like that. Look, I got slightly, look, you see? Now look, that's that's why I told you if you want, you can recut after you apply the, the first cut. And that's a prime example, I'm glad this happened. So what I can do, is I will take this off. Okay. We'll pull it back out. Now, what you can do is, since these are deep dish, you kinda wanna, now you get your cutter. Now you can go ahead and cut, Right where you did the crimp on the on the tail end of it, boom, and then you go ahead and keep that just like that. And we're gonna recrimp that, and now we should have zero play, zero play on that. Thank you, thank you. There we go. Look at that, guys. That was much better. Just to give you an idea. You can see? Crimped up. They work great. Now, you know, these wheels, the wheels don't look half bad on this car, but I, I didn't really do it, you know, for the wheel car combo. I, I, I basically just made this so you guys can see. The axles were very long and we needed them shorter. 
So, and look, man, they spin. They spin great. And basically what you're going to do now, obviously, is you will repeat the process for the front axles. Go ahead and get your first crimp. Boom. Slide the first wheel in. Grab the base. Slide that through. And then, oh, here it is, the other wheel. You guys can see this, sorry. Other wheel, in. Okay, be careful you don't pull it out. You know, make sure it's down. In this case, go ahead and get low. Cut. We're going to go ahead and pull that off because that is definitely too long. So we are going to pull that back down. And just go ahead and take off just the nib. And if it's too if it's too long, guys, no big deal. We just pull it back out, recrimp it up, and we just you know what I'm saying. We just keep cutting. Oops. So look at that. That's actually a good fit. Look at that. You see? Not bad. And then since I kind of lifted these, you know, what you want to do, I like to just push the tabs back down, these little plastic tabs. I don't pull them back too far when I remove because I don't want them to snap because I do like to keep them there to hold the other axles down. You see, this way you flip them over and they're still locked into place. In this case, Porsche has been done. I don't know how bad. So that's guys how you axle fit them. Perfect axles, perfect fit every time. Um, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Till the next video guys, take care, peace.